hey you can see that I've got this uh, Christensen Arms Mesa um, hunting rifle a uh, lightweight hunting rifle that we're taking a look at um, just some information on this it's uh, Christensen Arms Mesa uh, it's a stainless steel barrel contoured um, you can see tapered towards the end uh, so it's kind of a featherweight design it's got a stainless steel radial brake on it that's removable uh, you can see that the whole gun is cherry-coated um, with tungsten finish. It looks great. It's got a match chamber. It's hand-lapped. Um, button rifled. It's a free-floating barrel. This is a 7mm mag that I've got, so it's got a 24-inch barrel. They build it just on a standard uh, Remington 700 uh, optics base compatible action. Um, it's got that skeletonized handle for you know a little bit of weight reduction. Um, it comes in a variety of um, calibers. You can get it all the way up to a 450 Bushmaster, um, a 6.5 Creedmoor, 7 M08, 7 mm mag, 308, 28 nozzler, 300 wind mag. So it comes in just a great variety of, of some of your best um, calibers. Um, it's got invert pillars, spot bedding, uh, and that limb saver recoil pad, which I have found really nice. It's a real manageable kick on this gun, even though it's a pretty lightweight gun. Um, I think that they're claiming the weight on this is about uh, six and a half pounds, but I can't remember. I'll have to look it up. It does have a match grade trigger, two and a half to three and a half uh, pound trigger that I've just found that feels phenomenal. It's just got a really easy nice break with very little creep on it. Uh, so it's just a really nice um, setup. It does have that black and gray webbing stock. Um, you can also get it in a, a, a green and black I believe tan webbing. Um, it's just really uh, aesthetically pleasing gun. I topped it with that loophole uh, 3 to 16 scope. Um, 3 to 15 scope. I've taken it through the break-in process on their website which uh, talks about you know five shots clean it really good with an ammonia based cleaner um, scrub it you know go through that every five shots through 20 rounds and I've done that and I'm gonna shoot a few more today so I'm gonna get over there put a few more rounds through it show you the accuracy I've measured the speed and with my load 150 grain Acubon long-range uh, bullets I'm getting about 29 um, 80 uh, so nearly 3,000 feet per second um, on that bullet out of here so I'm going to shoot it and then we'll give you some results Really happy with that group. Definitely uh, just a little bit under one MOA. At that 100 yards, you know, obviously it's where I'm sighting it in at. I'm sighting it in for about 2.2 inches high at 100 yards, which should put me dead on at 200. Um, that's how I like to sight in my rifles. Um, and then that just makes it, I think, about uh, 27 clicks of uh, adjustment. A court, they're, a, they're one quarter of MOA adjustment, so 27 clicks would get me to 500 yards. Um, so, feel really good about it. Uh, I did shoot it out to 500 yards and was able to hit a gong uh, repeatedly at that distance and have a pretty decent pattern, even though I've got a decent crosswind which drifted a bit, but still was able to calculate for that and, and hit well. So, uh, real happy with the gun. Really happy with this scope too. Um, 
This is a Leupold uh, 3 to 16, is that 3 to 15, as I mentioned. It's the VX5, the VX5 HD, uh, the CDS version. So it has those exposed turrets on the top and a cap on the side. Real happy with the clarity and adjustability and usability of that uh, scope as well. But we definitely give the Mesa a buy from Christensen Arms. Fairly lightweight, great stock, nice barrel, good looks with that coating. The brake's great, the butt pad's great, shoots really well, just thrilled with it. I uh, hope you enjoyed the review.